My name is Lao Tan Li. Why am I living in United States? On the morning of the April 30, 1975, I was commanding a small squadron in Vietnam, and we were engaged in fighting with the enemy. I heard the government command a communication on the radio. He said, everyone stop fighting, drop your weapon, and go home. The war is over. After I heard that, my heart was totally dirty and I was downhearted. Many questions appeared, but without answer. All day long I didn't eat, and my body felt dumb. Finally, step by step, I walked home with my body hunger and walking. From there, my day to day life was stressful and nervous and I waited for the result with a thumping heart. A month later, a communist government council communicated a warrant for the army from officer to general, for the administration from the chief general to minister of the president, and everybody concerned with the, the education. He said, don't forget to carry 47,000 piat for one month of food. We were a bed and went to bed where they were on time. We were relieved because we thought that after one month, we would be reunited with our family. A month passed, but we still in the re-education camp. Now we understood that we were stopped by communists. They called it the education through labor instead of a deal. We had no real number or time when we would be released. They didn't send us in front of any court. The only work was concentrate for the education. We came in easily, but get out were very difficult. Daytime work was heavy, and at night we were taught theory of Marxist and Leninism, or sang the prayer of the Communist Party and the great Ho Chi Minh. The purpose was ideological reform, so we would have a no reactionary thinking. I spent my life in jail for six years, and I was released in 1981, but I was put under supervision for three years. Without that, they followed me step by step. My family was seven people in need food and clothes. My wife had to be fostered and we live from hand to mouth. We have an untouchable life. In 1990, American government had a program called ODP. This program provided for the Vietnamese people who wanted to flee from the communists, but you must have at least three years in jail or one year with education court in the foreign military. I applied to this program. I got for 1994, I came to Minnesota with my wife and my last two sons. The older son and two daughters, they already had family and were over 21 years old. They couldn't follow me, but after 10 years, all three of my children and their family were sponsored by me to come in Minnesota, and all of them have jobs and their children go to school. By the way, I want to thank all American people and government who helped my family immigrate to the United States with a better life. Now, I am very happy because my family is the United and we are living in the freedom country. We have a wider hell on earth of Vietnamese communism.